Former Labour Prime Minister Paul Keating has slammed Anthony Albanese's deal with AUKUS, the UK and the US, describing it as one of the worst international decisions in the last 100 years made by the Federal Labor Party. In fact, he went on to say that Anthony Albanese had tied Australia's military future and defence to an imperialist America and to the gormless Brits. One thing you can say about Paul Keating is you always know where he stands. <laughs> Here's a quick clip of what he said today. For $360 billion, we're going to get eight submarines. Right? This must be the worst deal in all history. There's a bit to unpack in this, Liz, but one thing uh, that I thought was really interesting was Keating said that Anthony Albanese has never had any depth or long-term interest in foreign affairs, and he said Albanese, Defence Minister Miles and Foreign Minister Wong agreed some time ago they would go along with the Coalition on Foreign Policy and particularly Defence so that they themselves could never be wedged on the issue. Now, if that's true, he's accusing the Federal Labor Party of compromising Australia's foreign policy and defence for political gain. That's an incredible thing to say. And yet it wasn't the least bit worse part of this absolute burning dumpster fire of an interview. Like, this this press club interview was from start to finish just a jaw-dropper. The amount of things that he said, not just about AUKUS, but across, uh, across a field of things that were just like, did, did he actually say that? Mm. But where I did think he had a point was this one here when he's talking about the cost of what these subs are going to cost us and what that equals in terms of actual military might. Take a look. The thing is, what would you rather? Eight Collins-class boats or nine, or sorry, four, 15 at sea permanently, or three nuclear boats? You've got to remember, they're only firing traditional torpedoes. They're not firing... Nuclear torpedo. So there we are, the massive marine maritime reaches of Australia. We've got the three boats out there, and I hope you Chinese are quaking in your boots. I mean, I'm sure they'll be quaking in their boots. I mean, he's quite right. We know well, the whole point of AUKUS is to make this alliance with those who have far bigger fleets yeah. than us. And this little handful is, as he put it elsewhere in that interview, just token military might. It's fake. Oh, We're not, not exactly really. striking fear into the hearts of the Chinese No, whatsoever. but it's, it's, it's not necessarily about striking fear into the hearts as though we're saying we're going to be able to go and, you know, take China tomorrow. It's about making sure we have something so that we at least have something to defend ourselves. He says there, oh, you know, we could have 14 or 15 Collins-class submarines. Mm. The Collins-class submarine has been subpar to say the least. It's a diesel-powered submarine. It's it's nowhere near as good as these nuclear submarines. I would much rather have three nuclear subs than 15 diesel-powered yeah, Collins-class subs. but three nuclear subs. subs arriving in 20, the mid-2040s. Yeah, but it doesn't and matter what... And we know what... that this is going to turn into a snowy hydro 2.0. But it doesn't matter sub what version. sub you build, it's going to the take forever to The price has already blown out. They all the take forever to The delivery time is going what, to what blow we, out. What we saw today... I don't know why anyone takes any notice of this, man. What we saw today was the CCP line being repeated to us by a former Prime Minister and we shouldn't be surprised by that. Paul Keating is a bloke who was on the board of the China Development Bank which is, you know, basically a quasi arm of the CCP for 13 years. He served as its chairman for 10 years. Last year, not last year, 2021 he said that if China were to go to war with Taiwan, Australia should do nothing about it because, you know, Taiwan's of very little interest to us, basically. Oh. I mean, this is a bloke who tows the China line every day of the week and, lo and behold, he's been on the Chinese payroll. I'm surprised he didn't give the uh, speech in Mandarin. <laughs> but he went <laughs> on. Cantonese. I mean, he described uh, China as he's a, no an Kevin outstanding Rudd. member of the international community and then accused America of being motivated by underlying imperialism. It was quite an incredible speech. I know, I know. Well, we hit the streets of Chatswood today to ask people out and about what they think of the AUKUS deal. Are we getting value for money on these multi-billion dollar submarines? So Australia's just announced we're going to spend $400 billion almost on nuclear subs. Good idea? A very good idea. Why do you say that? Because this country is not going to stop growing. It's, it's always will need defending. Do you think it's a good idea? Yeah, why not? 
Are you worried about the threat of China? No. Nah. So why is it a good idea to buy nuclear subs? Will it protect us, help us out a bit, you know? Bit of bang bang? We, we had the French submarines, which were all technology. It's about time we had new technology. It does escalate things, but the whole world's escalating anyway. China's escalating their situation as well, so... Yeah, it's a good idea, why not? Pretty crazy. It's a lot of money. I think there's a lot of people who have suffered in Australia that are being ignored. I don't think we should be going towards nuclear energy. Probably should spend that money in better places. Probably could look for um, spending better places on helping, uh, you know, people on the spectrum. I think we have bigger fish to fry at the moment. Healthcare, um, looking after our nurses, paramedics. Because we are um, having a lot of trouble with the interest rates going up, and yeah, so I think Australians need this money more. Than... What about defending ourselves in the event of war? Yeah, it's good, but uh, we're actually not at war right now, so. Uh... Yeah, we should try and make peace, not war. Is there anything else you'd rather spend $360 billion on? Oh, a couple of cold beers, which is all right in just now. So. <laughs> you get a lot of cold beers for $360 billion. I think I'm coming to that party. Oh, yeah, I'll be at that party with bells on. Don't worry. I hope they got some red wine there as well. But it was interesting to see the split between people saying, yes, great idea, we should do it, and obviously people who thought there was better use for that money. Um, but we didn't really come across anyone who said, this is the worst idea in the world. And I'll tell you where this is playing really well, and that's in Queensland and South Australia, because they've been promised a shed load of jobs out mm. of this project. And I can tell you... Will be doing great wonders for seats just, in those parts. Just of the quickly, world. there's one interesting thing about those Vox Pops, and it goes to a point you made earlier where these subs won't arrive for another, you know, decade. And people say, well, we're not at war, so we don't need to spend the money, and that's the problem. Mm. You need to spend the money when Correct. there isn't a threat, mm. and that's the problem we've got mm. for ourselves right now.